Welcome back to Supers Live on the Supers Broadcasting Network. Uh, wow, 62 laps of action over and done with. I, I haven't looked at the time yet, but that couldn't have been much more than about 12 or 13 minutes. Uh, a very fast race indeed. And, of course, a guy that's uh, probably one of the fastest out there. They call him Speedy Man for a reason. Dave O picking up the win in the 18th annual Dion Parish Memorial. Congratulations, Dave. You are now a Dion Parish Memorial champion. Doing a great job out there, lapping the top up to the top three, uh, looking to lap uh, into uh, third place as well at the end of the race. What was the scariest part of this race? Because I know you had some heavy traffic out there. So I think the scariest part was just that initial start. We we all kind of got a little loose there and won or stacked up, and uh, I think that was the, the tightest we were packed, at least uh, the entire field. So... For me, it was just making sure we could get through the first two, three laps, keep the car clean, and then um, just try and pick people off one by one and then build a gap and just go forward from there. Uh, I will say most of the most of the lap cars and instances where I came up on them, they held their line, um, you know, gave, gave room and, and were predictable and did pretty much the same thing every time. So um, very appreciative here at such a small track. But yeah, it was just just a tight track. Uh, a few times caught some lap guys, some lap cars catching some other uh, a little bit slower lap down cars and and navigating that traffic. Um, definitely a little tough, but just had to kind of keep the car clean. Uh, I had a close call with I think it was uh, Anthony and Keith there, maybe about halfway through. Um, but other than that, it was pretty safe i think i avoided the the big horn incest when we had that first yellow there because i was just getting up to the group of maybe five or six cars so thankfully uh caution saved me from that one avoided that and um able to re-rack it from there and and uh carry on but congratulations to brad and greg from coming from pretty far in the field to uh keep the car clean or clean enough to uh advance to the podium Dave, uh, picking up this uh, memorial race, you've won just about every other memorial race there is to win in Supers competition. This is uh, arguably the most important Supers race on the calendars, uh, uh, it, memorial or not. How does it feel to put it in victory lane here at Kalamazoo, uh, knowing that Dion Parrish lost his life chasing his dream? Oh, it's definitely, definitely the most special and uh, very excited that I was able to do it on my uh, first attempt here with this race. Couldn't make it last year, but I uh, had a pretty good car prepared, and I saw Greg put up some wicked fast times in, in practice Sunday night, so had to do a little bit more tweaking on it to get it uh, ready for tonight, and it was enough. Just a special race. A fine run for you here, two in a row, uh, to defend your season championship. Uh, happy to see that TMS Wolfpack number 11 in victory lane here at Kazoo. Your second place finisher, uh, no slouch, coming from the back, picking up the supercharger for advancing the most positions from where he started deep in the field in 11th, coming all the way to second. The coach, Brad Keezer, congratulations, Brad. Boy, I don't know if anybody drove any harder than you did out there to get to where you finished. A great run for you. If you could have got another caution, do you think you would have had enough to get around uh, Dave Ho for the win? Oh, man, that's always the question of the day, isn't it? Can anybody pass Dave O? Uh, you know, first of all, I say thanks, Bob. Uh, you know, thanks to f f First Finish Servers for hosting this, BreezeGraphics.com. Icing's on top. Uh, unfortunately, no rookies here tonight, but, you know, I'd like to get some back into this. Um, Hairbag Studios, um, everyone who, you know, all the hard work that goes into putting these things on, uh, a lot of time it goes into this. But, yeah, I mean, starting 11th, definitely not the uh, – starting position I had hoped for coming in the night, kind of a driver error there. Um, you know, and I feel really bad for Greg because Greg ran a great race. I got to watch uh, the vast majority of it uh, right in front of me um, as he came from eighth right in front of me and he was in second for a long time. So I, I you know, Greg was running an outstanding race. It was great to see his, his development and how much he's very quickly improved here and is, is dangerously fast, which is good to see. 
Uh, and I was fortunate enough that we had a long green flag run there at the end. And, you know, Greg did a great job. Uh, I got, I finally got up to him and could show a tire on the outside and we raced side by side for a few laps and it was a good battle between the two of us. I think his car was a little loose coming off two a couple times and he was respectful instead of taking us both out. I think he kind of caught it and saved it and was, you know, I think he wanted second, obviously wanted the win, but I, I know coming home third was a, better than wrecking both of us out but he ran a great race and it was it was great watching him come through the field um it was a great going through the field i got to race with everybody in a lot of different situations so it was a lot of fun uh but i honestly don't want to make a, a routine out of that it's you know a little heart beating right there but you know i gotta say thanks to bmk logistics chasing cameras for uh supporting and giving me time to come out here and race Great run, Brad Keezer, your supercharger here tonight at the Dion Parish Memorial and second place finish. Let's talk to this Greg Breen guy. This, this guy is racing like he's been doing this for quite some time. Greg, congratulations. Leading the race for a little while. Uh, also uh, able to stay up front. And you had some heavy hitters, champions of the Super Modified Ultimate Pavement Racing Series, former winners. You fended all of them off but two and came home third in the Lindsay Aggregates 26 tonight. How do you feel about that great run you had here tonight at Kalamazoo Speedway? Uh, yeah, it, it was a good time. Um, appreciate it. Uh, it. It was just a lot of fun. Um, you know, to finish third to those guys is a win for me, for sure. Um, uh, it, it was just fun coming through the pack, and everybody just raced really clean. And, you know, I actually got by quite a few guys and got up to second, and – I was almost a little disappointed because I wasn't having as much fun. I mean, we, we ran in a tight pack for a lot of laps, and it, it was a good time. Greg, looking at this racetrack, uh, on Sunday night, you said you had a little bit of problem with your tire temperatures. Uh, how were things tonight for you concerning that, and, and did you have much car left at the end of those 62 laps? Um, I, I made a couple of adjustments, and it got a little better. Um, I knew if it went green a long time, I was going to be in a lot of trouble. I, I got the cautions when I needed to, thankfully. Um, I actually had a setup that was faster, but the car went away quicker, so I didn't go with it. Um, but, you know, I, I got the cautions when, when I needed to, and, you know, I knew Brad was right there. I, I peeked behind me a couple of times, and I, I heard him on the outside, and uh, it was pretty cool racing with him, and uh, I'm just happy to come home in one piece. It was It, it was a really good time. Greg, looking down through the field here, uh, a bunch of rookies of the year. You battled Anthony Corsaniti for that. You had some close calls with some guys that uh, have just started supers out there. Looked like you could have been involved in the big one on the front stretch here with Dick Schuler. How close were you to to that accident that he had? Uh, close enough that I'm surprised I'm not in the pits. Um, he was sliding up the track, thankfully, and he just kind of washed out in front of me and uh, – you know, I, I made a little bit of a move, but I think it was more luck than driver skill for sure. Well, Greg, congratulations. Uh, doing your new sponsor well, Lindsay Aggregates on that 26. Uh, looking great out there uh, here at Kalamazoo Speedway for a fine third place finish. Congratulations. Thank you. Greg Breen, ladies and gentlemen, coming home in third. Uh, fourth place goes to Bob Gay. Or fifth place goes to Rocket Rob Warren. Sixth, Anthony Corsaniti, uh, one lap down. Two laps down, Kyle Perry. And then two laps down in eighth position was Keith Powell. Ninth position goes to Ryan Clunan, two laps down. Tenth, a nice run for Bobby Hayduck, two laps down. In the eleventh position, Gary Waldron, three laps down. Danny Ray, the last car on the track, in twelfth position, five laps down. Dick Schuler out of the race with a big accident on the front stretch. Virtual Super Modified Racing ought to tell you that he's a okay and will be back next week to race the North Carolina Swing. Also out of the race. Stephen Vincent after leading early here at Kalamazoo Speedway. Speaking of the North Carolina swing, that's the next big show on our schedule coming up three nights next week. We invite you to be a part of every single broadcast starting out on Tuesday night with NASCAR heat, super modified sim racing at DeSera Speedway, as well as uh, care, excuse me, DeSera and Orange County Speedways kick it off the night. Two races in one night. The next night, we moved to Southern National Motorsports Park and Concord Motorsports Park, where they ran the famed East West Shootout in 2007. And then, if you're in the top eight in points, 
After those four races, you get invited to the Hickory Hustle, the 18th annual Hickory Hustle at Hickory Motor Speedway, 75 laps, winner takes all, and is crowned the North Carolina Swing Champion. Don't miss it, folks. Three nights, five tracks, one North Carolina Swing Champion coming up next week on the Supers Broadcasting Network. Well, it's been a fantastic night here at Kalamazoo Speedway, and it's time to wrap things up. But before we do, we want to say thanks to all of our fine sponsors. First to finish race servers, breezegraphics.com, Hairbag Studios. Also, thanks to Icings on Top, sponsor of the Supers. The Icing's on Top Rookie of the Year Award, as well as the Supers Triple Crown of Super Modified Sim Racing, presented uh, by Icing's on Top. Specialty cakes for all occasions. Man, that, that'd be sounding good right now with some ice cream, I think, for Dave O after winning this one. Gridfinder.com, find your place on the grid. Burger Smokehouse, simply family tradition since 1927, on the web at smokehouse.com. Wags Custom Cool Awards and BMK Logistics, as well as RJ Photos and Designs. Folks, don't go anywhere uh, because uh, we just want to say how much we appreciate each and every one of you. And, you know, Dion Parrish had that never give attitude, never give up attitude right to the day he died. We ask that each of you, as you go out of your door tomorrow to go to work or wherever you may be headed, remember to treat each other with kindness like Dion did and pay it forward like Dion did too and never give up just like Dion. Until next week. Remind all of you that you can make a donation to the Dion Parrish Memorial Benevolent Fund for Super Modifieds. That fund, named in Dion Parrish's memory, goes to help injured Super Modified drivers and their families in times of need. Just a dollar will do it, and you can make that donation at supers.net. I'm Bob Gangwer, reminding all of you that when it comes to life, you should always keep it wing side up and wheels to the ground. Someone you love I've been around a long time In and in and out of love But if you're gonna do it I say do it with someone you love